Andrew Hillier joins us now from France Unbowed headquarters in Paris, France Unbowed, which is, of course, part of that left-wing NUPS coalition. Andrew, if these results hold, we've just said that the president's coalition could lose its absolute majority in parliament, which has rarely happened under France's uh, Fifth Republic. And yet there's still a sense of disappointment within the left-wing alliance today. Why is that? Yeah, that's right. I mean, if you look at the figures uh, from uh, from yesterday's vote, um, it was pre it, it was a successful night for the left. Um, results put Jean-Luc Mélenchon's uh, parliamentary bloc neck and neck with uh, Emmanuel's bloc. Um, we just heard uh, from Jean-Luc Mélenchon just a little while ago here. He said that he's still hopeful of getting an absolute majority in this Sunday's second round. The problem for uh, his parliamentary bloc is that those votes that he got yesterday need to translate into seats. Now, a lot of proje a lot most projects. Uh, put uh, Mélenchon's parliamentary bloc on, uh, on between 150 and 190 seats. That's uh, far short of the 289-seat majority that he would need in the uh, National Assembly to wield um, to, 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 to wield power, really. So, so what he's going to do, what he told us he's going to do, is spend the next uh, the next few days before the second round of voting, getting out on the campaign trail, convincing those voters, the ones who abstained in yesterday's vote, to come out and vote for him this Sunday in the second. Round. Andrew, despite this, uh, you know, the left-wing coalition falling short, well short of that 289 majority needed, this is still a lot better than most left-wing parties have done in several years. Could this result signal the return of the left as a dominant force in French politics? Well, yeah, I mean, it, it could because... Um, I mean, last night's, last night's results uh, it already is a victory for the left uh, in the sense that uh, it could deprive Emmanuel Macron of having that absolute majority in Parliament, which means that Macron would have a much harder time pushing through his policy, ag policy agenda. Um, it means that he might have to compromise on uh, flagship issues uh, like the retirement age, for example. The problem for the left is that within this broad coalition, noops, there's still a lot of uh, division on, on, on certain policy like the European Union, for example. The other issue issue that's worth uh, pointing out is that uh, the overall share of the vote for left for left wing parties is still hovering around 26%. That's pretty much the same as the last the last election. So it hasn't really increased. What has changed this time is the left's uh, strategy of creating alliances, which means that voting on the left is a lot less fragmenting the, fragmented than it was before. Of course that means that basically that could make them a serious threat to Emmanuel Macron because now they're all campaigning under a single banner. France 24's Andrew Hillier reporting there from the headquarters of France Unbowed in Paris. Thank you very much.